Macy's show. Have you seen that? Yeah. Do you like it? Oh, you don't, do you? No, you can't stand him, can you? I remember. Sorry, bye. Tell you about it once again Cause it was the roundest pickled egg I've ever seen It was round as pickled an egg it, Don't you see it was the roundest pickled egg I've ever seen it was the roundest pickled egg <laughs> That's funny. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Elliot Mason Show, episode five. Uh, <coughs> I don't mean um, welcome to another episode of the Elliot Mason Show, episode five, like I've already done uh, previous episodes of episode five, because that wouldn't make... Yeah. And what I meant to say was hello and welcome to another episode of the Elliot Mason Show, comma, episode five. Yeah, hope you enjoy it. Bye. Welcome to I play a prank on you. Come and have a look and see what prank I play this week. This is Kevin. He doesn't realize that earlier today I broke into his house and changed his shoelaces for shoelaces that were one inch longer than his original shoelaces. <laughs> Idiot. I got a secret camera in my underpants and I gotta have a little bit of fun with him. Come with me. Oh, hello, Kevin. And how are you doing today? <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> all right, thanks. Oh, and is there anything wrong at all? Maybe with your shoes, perhaps? <laughs> uh, no, I think so. Oh. Well, have you noticed that you're trailing your laces into more puddles than usual, perhaps? Uh, no, I haven't, no. Oh. Well, Kevin, do you recognize these? No, what are they? 
These are your shoelaces. Earlier today, I broke into your house and stole your shoelaces and exchanged them for shoelaces that are slightly longer than your other ones. <laughs> Idiot. I don't live in a house. Eh? I live in a houseboat. Well, whose house did I break into then? I don't know. So these aren't your shoelaces either? No. Oh. Well. I play a prank on you! I play a prank on you! I play a prank on you! Bloody hell. Oh, look at his face. Idiot. Good night! I play a prank on you! Inside a crisp bag I'm pulling out all the crumbs I'm licking them off my fingers And licking them off my thumb When the bag is nearly empty And all of the crumbs are gone I'll have to open up another bag Until I've finished all of them as well I like eating crisps, oh yes I do I put them in my mouth and I start to chew I like eating them inside my bed And in the bath as well, yeah Yeah I like eating crisps when I'm on my own I like eating crisps when I'm on the phone Those are recording devices, eh? Oh, aye. That's nice. That's a nice recording device you got there. Mm. Do you want to hear a joke? I had this funny joke the other day. It goes like this. There's this guy who goes into dry cleaners. He says to the dry cleaner, he says, You got my trousers? And the dry cleaner says, What trousers are those like? And the guy, What did you hear that? I just made a noise with my mouth. Didn't mean to do that. That's not part of the joke. That's just real life. Anyway, the guy says, uh, I bought some trousers in on Tuesday with a stain on the crotch. And the guy says, well, I don't work Tuesdays. I, uh, I work Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. Tuesdays I go and see my mum. Sometimes I have my dinner there and have some Battenberg and play Scrabble and that. And the guy says, all right, I thought you looked different, you know, because last time you had, like, boobies and that. And the guy says, yeah, that's my wife. And the guy says, oh, sorry about mentioning your wife's boobies. And the dry cleaner says, oh, that's all right. They're quite nice. The guy says, so you got my trousers then, or what? Because, you know, you told me to come back. Well, you didn't, but your wife told me to come back today. And the guy says, well, if you got a tucker, my wife must have given you a tucker when you gave her the trousers with the stain on the crotch. Because uh, how am I supposed to find your trousers in this lot? And I've got about seven or eight pairs of trousers in here. It's going to take me all day. And the guy says, oh, yes, I see your point. I think I did get a ticket. Now you come to mention that. I, put, I probably put it in me, in me other trousers. And the dry cleaner says... Not the trousers that we dry clean. Because if you put the ticket in the pocket of the trousers we dry clean, that could be anywhere. And the, it's probably, you know, disintegrated through all the... You now I've gone all jody. And anyway, the guy goes, No, not in those trousers, they're in my other trousers. I've got three pairs of trousers, you see. I've got these trousers I wear in here. I've got the trousers I gave your wife with a stain on the crotch. And I've got another pair of trousers at home on my bed. And I think I'll put the ticket in the back pocket because that's what I tend to do. If I get a receipt or a ticket or something, I tend to put it in my back pocket because it's nice and convenient, you know. Much more convenient than like carrying it around in your mouth or something like that. And the, the guy says, the, uh, the traffic warden, no, the dry cleaner, he says, well, can you go get your ticket from your trousers? Because, uh, you know, that'd help me out a huge amount. 
and the guy says, all right, I'll, well, what time do you close? And the guy, the dry cleaner says, five o'clock, it's five o'clock every day apart from Sunday because we're not open Sunday. And the guy says, oh, that's fine. I have 10 minutes around the corner. I'll be back in about 20 minutes. And the guy says, that's fine. So he goes off and gets his ticket and they are in his trousers as it was on the bed. Comes back with a ticket, gives it to the dry cleaner. The dry cleaner can find his trousers with his, he hasn't got the stain on the crotch anymore and it's all, it's all sorted out, you know. And that's the sort of stuff I like, you know, all that observational comedy. Big fan of the observationals, you know. I'm always observational in. It's been lovely talk, it's, it's a nice recording device. Uh, how much that say you back? Oh, that's nice. I'll see you later, yeah? Nice talking to you. Let me see. There's an aeroplane going up there. Aeroplane. That's not, I wonder where they're going. It's going at quite a speed. It's not part of the joke. It's just real life. Real life going on here. Amazing. Amazing what they can do today. Oh, uh, slowly. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Wouldn't that be nice? Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Wouldn't that be nice? Follow me to work. Follow me back home, follow me in the bath, follow me on the phone, follow me into the kitchen, follow me off a pier, follow me by the corner, follow me by the beer, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, wouldn't that be nice? Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, wouldn't that be nice? No. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't believe that he went there. That guy's an absolute genius. Well, that's the end of uh, that's enough of the Elliot Mason show episode five, isn't it? I mean, that's enough for anyone. Um, please tell your friends because uh, I haven't got any. And uh, yeah, a bit nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice to have some friends. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I've just got time to uh, to uh, for a bit more of my stand-up routine I've been working on. I think I'm getting quite good, so uh, you'll, I think you'll enjoy this one. Uh, 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 yeah, it goes like this. Oh, oh, hi guys, it's me again. Yeah, remember me? Oh, God. Elliot Mason, uh, Jif to Sif, uh, did that song. Now then, Get off. here goes. Uh, did you hear about the, uh, there's a piece of popcorn. Did you hear about a, a, a piece of popcorn that didn't like twerking? Do you, do you know what twerking is? No. Uh, yeah, it's where, where, where the woman uh, wiggles her bum like that Miley Cyrus, you know her, she, it's been in the news and, and, and that. Get on with it! Now, did you hear about the piece of popcorn that, that doesn't like twerking? Uh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, no, well, he, uh, he, does, he didn't like it because, because he was butter kissed, you see. Uh, <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, because of, of the uh, buttocks and the... Uh, Get off the stage! Well, thanks for having me guys, I hope to see you soon, yeah? Buy my CD. Uh, bye. Thank God for that. Hmm. Oh, butter kissed. <laughs> Get off the stage.